Welcome to the start of the 2013-2014 school year. It's quiet here in our transportation center, but just days from now, these buses will roll through the streets, filled with students who are eager to learn. If you've been a part of the Peoria family for some time, you know that we have a rich history in this community. As we get ready to kickstart the opening of school celebration, we'll honor our past, celebrate our successes, and vision for our future. Just recently, Dr. Santarelli and Dr. Cruz spent some time with some of our incredible staff that helped make our district so great. Take a look. I'm here with Angel this morning at Vistancia Elementary. Angel, we are sitting in this beautiful garden that you created for the community. Talk about why you did that. It's so beautiful. Well, uh, one day I passed by here and uh, one uh, teacher it was uh, you know, reading a book with the kids here under that shade. So I start to, you know, I decide, you know, when I have a time, you know, to do something for them, you know. Well, it is a very, very beautiful place for Vasancia students and teachers to come and do work. Yes, and uh, plus parents and uh, oh, teachers, they take breaks here. So I'm glad they can enjoy it. I like to do something different in the school, you know. Uh, you know, when the teachers come back, they find something different. Something different. Not just the same thing every year. I'm working here in my second house, so. <laughs> That's right, your second house. <laughs> so. It feels like that, doesn't it? I better do songs. something right, you know. That's right. And I, I love my job. Yeah. Actually, I, I, I do love my job, so. So, Angel, you were recently a Kellis Award winner, which is the most prestigious <laughs> award here in the Peoria Unified School District. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it was a, a, a big surprise for me because, you know, I never, I never expected that. You know, when the, uh, uh, Dr. Santa really started to talk about Vistancia and flowers, then is when I start to, you know, <laughs> yeah, you kind of well, yeah. kind of sounds like my school. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it was, a. Uh, Nice, very nice surprise. And We're honored to have you be a part of our Peoria family. <laughs> I really love uh, to be working here. I love my job. As you go, you can put them right there, and then we'll just bag them up. Wow. You have quite a technique there. You just, huh, man. <laughs> you do. Awkward. You do. You have good technique. I know I'm probably slowing you down. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold you probably do it faster. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I was only going to be here a year, and then I liked it. I liked the people. They were so friendly. And 20 years later, still you're still here. here. All a pioneer. Uh, yeah. You must like working here. Like working I love working the here. The team must like Senator being together. Senator, you to send me other places and I won't go. I, just, yeah, I, I started here and I wanted, to, I wanted to end here. Hello. Enjoy. Burger today or burrito? Burrito. Yeah, burrito. How are we doing today? Hello. Boy, look at all those good choices. Grapes, oh yeah, those are my favorite. How about you, young man? What are you gonna have? I haven't told you my whole life. This school was the best thing that ever happened. Really? <laughs> That's good milk. How do you feel about Pioneer? With humble beginnings in a small one-room schoolhouse and a tiny transportation center at Troya Annex, it's hard to believe that our district now serves more than 36,000 students. Over the decades, we've built a lasting legacy that has undoubtedly made an extraordinary impact. Well, this campus is the tradition of the Peoria School District. Uh, from the building of the high school in the 1920s till, till today, Peoria High School is the foundation of the district. 
the building behind me, Old Main, is, is the creator of that history and that tradition. Probably hundreds of thousands of students have gone through that, through that building, become educated, moved on to successful lives and careers. And, it, and it's just kind of the beginning mark of how the district is today. The reason that Peoria is such a successful school district is in part due to its history. The city was actually built around the school. The city was a magnet for education from the local workers to try and increase education for themselves and their children. So it's nice to see that Peoria didn't just spring up with some new attitude. It's actually the based on history and based on a community that really values education. And you can see that manifested in the success that Peoria experiences today. Honoring our legacy is synonymous with the Pride of Peoria and Raymond S. Kellis Leadership Awards. It's the most prestigious award bestowed upon a Peoria Unified employee and an honor that is steeped in tradition. You already met one of our 2013 winners. Let's take a moment to meet the Leadership in Teaching and Administration Award recipients. I had, as a student, great experiences at both Peoria and Cactus High School, and I had some very influential teachers that certainly molded my thinking and um, kind of made me so grateful and thankful for all that I had uh, experienced at Cactus and at Peoria that I just wanted to come back. I loved what I, happened when I was a student here. I started uh, in 1984 at Sundance. I taught fifth grade, and then I went to Oakwood. Um, for 20 years and taught fourth grade, had a wonderful experience there, and then I've been at Park Ridge for the last eight years uh, teaching seventh grade math and have enjoyed every minute of it. And I've had some really uh, wonderful experiences with my classes. I've had some kids that actually uh, were national scholars in high school and I keep in touch with them occasionally, so it's neat they went on to Ivy League schools and have had some awesome experiences. It is my pleasure to announce to you our 2013 Raymond S. Kellis Leadership and Teaching Award as a very special person. This award goes out to Mrs. Lisa Armenta. I was completely shocked, um, certainly honored uh, to be the recipient of this award. Um, However, I, I do really believe that there are so many people involved in everything that happens on a school campus. It takes a village and um, without everyone's, uh, you know, contribution, things just don't get done. Well, with all that is going on, sometimes it can be overwhelming, uh, definitely, but um, I'm doing what I love and that's what keeps me uh, going. I enjoy uh, working with my students and ultimately uh, that's what I want to do every day. Moving over to the Peoria Unified School District was actually easy for me. I was in a, a neighboring district and had heard for years about um, just the, the legacy of Peoria, how Peoria cared for their people, um, the innovations that were going on in Peoria. I knew that there were great things happening and I thought I just would love to experience that myself. So when the opportunity came to interview for an assistant principal position, I did that and was amazed and excited that I was selected to join the Peoria team. You know, every district has its problems. There's, I call them warts and bumps. Anywhere you go, there's always problems. But for me, Peoria, um, I just see it as a heart condition, and that's not a bad thing. A heart condition in this case is a good thing because Peoria is truly has a heart for people, heart for students, hearts for the, uh, heart for the staff. Um, that P in our value statement I've always thought was very appropriate because to me Peoria is about the people. Um, there may be problems along the way, we all have problems, we all have things that we wish we could work on and do differently, maybe do better, but I really see schools full of people who really care about each other, care about the students, care about the community. That starts from the superintendent, the governing board, down. People really honestly care. I think every single person on our campus is just as important as the next one of them. Um, we look at our staff, our entire staff, our classified staff, certified staff, all of them are teachers. All of them have a responsibility to make a connection with students, to move them forward. You never know which person on that campus is going to be the person that a child just grabs hold of and says, this person is in my corner, this person believes in me, this person will help me be all I can be. If you're employed in the Peoria Unified School District, that's all that matters. 
your title is not important. Um, we are all working in the same direction to serve students and to do the best for each other and for those kids every day that we can. That's how we see it at Desert Harbor. We know you work hard and we appreciate all the work that you do to help support our 36,000 students. Our governing board appreciates you as well and want to share their thanks. You know, nobody has more admiration and respect for educators than me. Uh, I see every day the sacrifices that people make and, and it's because they know what the end game is. It's all about making a better life for each and every one of us as citizens of this great country and this, and this great state of Arizona. Remember why we're here. We're here for the kids. That's what we're here for. As a teacher, as an administrator, you do your part to help the kids do the best they can. But all the days that there isn't a thank you, all the days that there are issues which you can't solve, all the days that you're there very late grading, remember the students are your reason. Thank you, first of all. Uh, you've raised my kids, you've taught my kids, so I'm a little bit of personal there. But more importantly, if it wasn't for our long-term employees, they're the ones who actually built this foundation. Peoria has received a lot of accolades, it's a high graduation rate, it's nationally recognized, which is fantastic. But all that gets done with our long-term employees. The, the dedication and the hard work that you put in every day shows success when the students graduate. You know, this last year over $51 million in scholarships to students that graduate is just an amazing, phenomenal number. And it's done, it starts at the elementary level and it's just, it's just it's the success that teachers need to be acknowledged for because their hard work, their dedication to those students every day make that happen. Let's take a look at how your hard work has paid off for the students and families in our community. classified or certified, it's your 30th year or your very first year here in the Peoria Unified School District. We're all working towards the same goal, to make sure every student, every day, is prepared to go out and impact tomorrow. We're among the largest educational systems in Arizona, and to make sure we're always connected across our more than 40 sites, we're proud to be introducing some new communication tools this year to make sure you feel connected. Rather than bringing a representative from each of our sites into the district office for quarterly Communication Council meetings, we'll be bringing the communication directly to you. Our leadership team will be making personal visits to each of our sites to make sure that you're able to connect on a more personal basis. You'll have an opportunity to ask questions, address concerns, and learn more about the resources available to support you. In addition, we'll be introducing electronic employee engagement forums, a way for you to connect from the comfort of your individual school site or home to speak directly with Dr. Santarelli, Dr. Cruz, and the rest of our leadership team. These communication tools are in addition to our weekly employee bulletin board, social media channels, and our employee website that provide you with timely, concise communications. Look for more information on these new communication tools after the start of the school year. I'm here at the University of Phoenix Stadium where we conduct our high school graduations. As you can see, I'm surrounded by empty chairs. These empty chairs are symbolic of the many students that will be entering our classrooms as we begin another school year. You see, these students enter our classrooms with the hopes and dreams of one day 
taking their seat right here as they graduate from the Peoria Unified School District. Until that day arrives, we must ensure that we are the very best that we can be so that all of these seats are full, not one seat left empty. Of course, you and I know that this is no easy task for us to ensure that each and every one of these seats is filled with a capable young mind that is prepared to meet the challenges to be competitive in our global economy happens by no accident. It takes the collective work of each and every one of you to think about the incredible impact in the lives of our students that we all have when we work collectively. All 4,000 Pure Unified School District employees working towards one common goal. Every student, every day, to ensure that each of them have the opportunity to walk into this stadium, to sit in these seats, to walk across this stage and receive their high school diploma. Truly an exciting challenge, a wonderful opportunity. And we cannot do this alone. We've been so fortunate to have the support of our community, our business leaders, our foundation, our elected officials, our governing board, our parents, and our entire community rallying around the Peoria Unified School District to make sure that we are the best that we can be. As we embark upon this new year, I hope we can share in the renewed focus upon instructional quality, the implementation of the Common Core, our work to continue to attract and retain the highest caliber of employee, as well as the implementation of technology and how we can use technology as a lever, not only for students, but for staff, and our always present effort to ensure that we are expending our precious resources to the best of our ability. In addition to these initiatives, you'll hear about our strategic plan. We've had a dedicated committee working diligently to take a look at our strategic plan that is set to expire in the year 2015 and to renew that strategic plan to ensure that we are well prepared for the future. You'll be hearing more about this in the upcoming weeks and months. It is also a special year of celebration as we begin the groundbreaking activities for our newest elementary school, our 33rd, an exciting time. Equally exciting is the fact that we are beginning to rebuild and remodel our oldest building in the district, Peoria High School's Old Main, which was originally constructed in 1922. We believe that the programming that we are putting together for this building will certainly propel students into the next century. A special thanks to our community for their support of our bond. Shortly, those dollars will start to roll in and you will see the impact as we begin to repair and update our facilities. You will also begin to see signs of more technology and more ways to connect technology within our buildings. And in the midst of all this, the real work will continue. Choirs will sing, bands will play, athletes will compete, books will be read, awards will be won, champions will be made all as a result of your hard work and our collective contributions to student success. Thank you for the part that you play in the success of our students, for you are far more than someone who helps contribute to filling these seats. You are champions for our students. Your efforts ensure that their success will be attained far after they leave our system. Thanks to each of you and my very best for the upcoming school year to be as successful as it can be.